What's up everybody, 32 Icon here. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing well myself. Please go ahead and like and subscribe and share if you haven't already in good faith that I'll continue bringing you great content. Oh, and I'm just another YouTube personality, so take what I say with a grain of salt and do your own research, okay? All right, so listen. It's gonna be a very short video, but I'm gonna go over the three reasons why I think red dots are great for training with the opposite hand. Now, this is an RMR type two, but I think this applies to hollow sins, Romeos, um, whatever else, Vortex, any red dot system, I think this can apply to, okay? Now, I told you before that I'm now getting used to having a red dot on a pistol and I can appreciate its benefits. And as I was playing along with it and really getting to understand how it operates, I have found that when I'm shooting with my opposite hand, right, that it's easier for me to pick up the red dot. It was as plain as day. So, Kind of backing up a little bit, I took a Tatiana Whitlock class and she taught us how to, you know, shoot one-handed with uh, each hand. And then she taught us how to, like I'm left-handed, so she was giving us um, our form. She was like, listen, you want your form to be like this, so then when you switch over, you'll see that I'm automatically indexing. My three fingers come around the grip and my thumb is placed here. So then when it's time to put my... Um, my opposite hand on i'm right here and so when she showed this that i was like oh okay that's how you switch it up okay and so i went to the range and i started practicing i just happened to be shooting this gun so i'm practicing with my left hand bah, 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 bah. I, do, I do what she tells me to do i go over here i switch it boom i'm here and i was immediately able to pick up that red dot and i realized that wow, I don't have to spend much time aligning my sights when I'm shooting with my opposite hand, I can just pick it up. And the dot is super transposed onto the target. So it brings me to my number two point. I don't have to focus on the target or on the sights. I can focus on my grip and making sure that I have my hand placement correctly on the firearm. Because on recoil, you'll notice that if you don't have a tight grip, your fingers and your hands will begin to slip. Now it's easier when you're with your strong hand, right? Because when you're with the strong hand, you got it, it's firm, right? But when you are switching hands, it's not as firm because it's new. You have to train it, right? It's muscle memory. You have to train yourself to get a good solid grip. Hand placement is firm. You know exactly where it needs to be and then you can focus on the dot. So that is the second thing that I noticed that the red dot has helped me with. The third thing, when you're dry firing, again, you're practicing hand placement, you're practicing your grip, you're practicing finding that dot immediately, but you can do it without using ammo. And you can find a spot in your home where you can get that red dot out, boom, and practice, right? Get it back out and practice. So what I found is that red dots are useful for training with the opposite hand because you can A, quickly pick up the red dot, right? You don't have to worry about fiddling with the front and the rear sights. You can quickly pick it up. Number two, you can focus on your grip and your hand placement, right? Because that's important, especially under recoil when your hands are gonna start to be slipping and you need to develop strength and muscle memory. And then number three, you can practice all of these fundamentals at home without spending a lot of money on ammo. And the red dot is gonna help you focus on something that's very simple to pick up, that's very visual and easier than your front and rear sights. And this is new for me. I'm starting to pick this up as well. You will notice in my videos, I'm obviously shooting with my left hand um, and my right hand supporting the opposite side. Well, lately I've switched over, like I told you before, and I've been really trying to focus on shooting with my right hand. So it's a new skill I'm developing and I found that the red dot is helping me. So maybe it's just me, maybe it's my discovery. You guys let me know. I don't shoot a lot with the opposite hand, 
but it is definitely a skill that I need to develop. And at this point in my development process, firing uh, different types of uh, firearms, I think it's something that I need to uh, get better at. I think it's something that I should pick up and be able to work out on my own. And um, I'm excited that uh, Tatiana Whitlock class actually pushed me in that direction to develop a new skill. So that's that on that. You guys let me know how you feel about it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're doing well, treating one another with kindness, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.